You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Poetic Justice. French statesman Ferdinand Flacon turned the French Civil Code into a poem to make the code more accessible to the people. The French Revolution resulted in 14,000 pieces of new legislation. In 1804, Napoleon created the Napoleonic Code out of those in France's older laws. He added the Code of Civil Procedure in 1806, a Commercial Code in 1807, a Criminal Code and a Code of Criminal Procedure in 1808, and a Penal Code in 1810. Together these became known as the French Civil Code. Writer and editor Ferdinand Flacon entered politics in 1848. When he was not re-elected the following year, he returned to editing and selling books but continued his political activism, so the French government placed him under house arrest. The democratic wordsmith died poor, nearly blind, and bitter. Despite his short political career, Flacon knew the law, and he clearly knew words. It is said that he turned the French Civil Code its 22,892 articles, statutes, amendments, and annotations into a 170,000-word poem perfect in rhyme and meter. Long before Flacon, another law poem was written. After exile, the Jews returned home and rebuilt the temple. They compiled the Psalms, some old, some new, to sing in the temple. One new psalm, Psalm 119, dedicates eight verses each to the 22 Hebrew letters. For example, verses 1 through 8 each start with Aleph, the first letter of the alphabet. Verses 9 through 16 all start with the second letter, Beth. Verses 17 through 24 all start with the third letter, and so on. Besides alliteration, Psalm 119 repeatedly uses eight words for the law of God. Word, saying, statutes, judgments, law, commands, precepts, and testimonies. Psalm 119 uplifts God's wonderful law and thus God's character. Study for yourself and see how perfect, just, and loving God's law is. Our key Bible texts today come from Psalm chapter 34 verse 8 and Psalm chapter 119 verse 62. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.